So let's start with uh, how to check whether the Java is installed or not, as well as how to set the path for Java. Let's check whether Java is installed or not. Go to the my computer, then go to the drive where Windows is installed. It depends where you are using 86 uh, system, system 86 or 64 bit system. I'm using 64 bit system, so I'm going to the drop down files where you do find uh, the Java. But unfortunately, this time uh, I have installed the Java with uh, 86 uh, Windows. So let's go to the 86 folder. Then you can uh, move to the Java folder. Here you can find uh, two folders. Whether it depends upon which version of Java you have installed, whether it is a Java 5, 6, 7, 8. In this computer, I have installed the version of Java 8. So you will find two folders. One is the Java runtime and another is JDK, the Java Development Kit. Whatever the programming that you are supposed to do depends upon the JDK. Here you have different sets of folder, but for our purpose, the, vast, the most important folder is bin folder. Where you have different Java utilities, for example, you have Java C. It is a file called Java C. Let's move to the Java C. Where it is? Yes, it is Java C, which will help, which will help you to compile the Java file and uh, it will create the bytecode for you. And as well as uh, you have a Java file, Java file, which is there for uh, running the Java application. So it is installed now. So we we're discussing how to set the Java path so that we can compile uh, the Java file. So here is the path for you that you are that you need to copy. Click here, then right click here and copy the path. Minimize the window, go to the start, select the command prompt, you can write set path is equal to within double quotes, go to the context menu from here, add it and paste. I think this is and press enter. This is going to be the path for you. You can uh, confirm whether the path is installed or not by typing the Java C command. It shows uh, a long list of parameters that you can use with Java C. In actual, it is an error because we have not passed any file to the Java C command. But if you see this kind of information, it is confirmed that the Java path is installed. For now, Let's exit it and this is it for you. We have completed how to set the, uh, how to set the path for the Java.